Hello, honey pie. Come over in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Gary. <laughs> but don't just sit there, cherubs. Let's have some fun. <laughs> One. Follow me. La 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 la. La 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 la. Oh, <laughs> that was good fun, wasn't it? Look what I've got. <laughs> Someone's missing from home today. Ah, uh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Ah, uh, it's Samson. Dr. Gino. <laughs> Dr. Gino. Hello, I'm Samson. Come on, boy. Get good. Come on. Come and see Granny. Come and call. That's the way. <laughs> come and say hello to Samson. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. <laughs> Gentle now. Oh, we don't want to get him overexcited, do we? Oh, we're going to the carnival parade later. <gasps> Yeah, oh, here, I think that's enough patting, isn't it? It's your basket, Samson. Good boy. Oh, why don't you two dress Claude up as a carnival dancer, Pancakes? <laughs> I love carnivals. Then let's Mardi Gras to our cheers. <laughs> so you like a bop, do you, when you go to a carnival? Oh, yes. Today's carnival is going to be fantastic. Samson's going to love it. Oh, I know. We've got him a big bow for his collar. Oh, he'll <laughs> love that. The sausage. Do you know, I've been to some amazing carnivals over the years. Once, I dressed up as a clown. <laughs> and then another time, I dressed up as an opera star with a big Viking helmet. <laughs> I dance and dance until I drop. Oh, lovely. But you won't be able to go to the carnival this year. Oh, no. Well, I'm working, aren't I? But you know what I think? I think carnival time can be any time. What? <laughs> oh, look at you! You've created your very own carnival right here for me in my living room. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're right, Granny Murray. Great! <laughs> Claude, fancy a quick salsa. Oh. <laughs> Enough. I better get to work. Oh, Samson. Bye bye, Samson. Be a good boy. Oh, thank you. Look at this. A special carnival bow just for me. Come on, then. Bye bye, Dr. Gino. Bye. Now remember carnival time can be any time. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye bye, Dad, and I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Dr. Juno and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm in a bit of a hurry today. Which is the best way to work? Thank you. I'm in a need in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a trip way. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry on the tram line. I'm in a need, in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. And hurry to get changed. All scrubbed and ready to go. I'll put this bow here. Give me some noise in the house, let me hear you say, yo, yo, carnival. Hello, here's your patient's notes. Nurse Hendry, I think whilst we're at work in the hospital, we should forget about the carnival, OK? You're right, Dr Juno, sorry. We don't want to upset the patients by reminding them about what they're missing outside. Right. I'll just, there. Uh... Oh, don't worry, 
only about me, nurse. Just save the others. Raymond, are you all right? Ah, <laughs> Dr. Junois. I'm fine. I just fell over in my carnival garb. Pretty silly, actually. You're telling me. You could have an accident in those stilt things. Oh, poo-poo. Get in the carnival mood. Actually, I just popped in to ask you what kind of salsa dance moves I can use at the carnival parade today. Any groovy tips? Dance tips? Oh, yeah. Actually, you could... I mean, my tip for you is to take off those silly platform shoes. I don't want you to end up in casualty later on. I see. So, no chance of a dance lesson in... <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm very busy with my patients. The carnival is outside and I don't want it to affect anything in the hospital. Excuse me. What's up with Dr Juno? But I hope you have fun at the carnival, Samson. I love to skip in rivers you think, the rivers you think, go by the sea. I love to skip in rivers you think, the rivers you think, go that's for me. Come on, thank you, Samson. Good boy, good boy. Oh, you like that game, don't you, Samson? And you can play it with Dr. Juno when she comes home from work. Yes, whoop! Uh-huh. Ready, fetch! Good boy, good boy! Come on, good boy! I love to skip the river she thing, the river she thing, go by the sea. I love to skip the river she thing. I wish I was with you now, Samson. Wearing silly costumes, wearing silly costumes, wearing silly <coughs> costumes. Oh, hi, Doc. Come into the parade. No, I'm not. And may I remind you that this is a working hospital. It's not fair on the patients to keep reminding them of what they're missing at the carnival. Uh, chill, Doc. I thought you loved carnivals. We've sung and danced to enough of them together in the past. I'm busy working and running a hospital. Ooh. OK, dude. Suit yourself. Pity you're going to miss all the fun. Let's split, Chuck. We'll be wearing silly costumes on parade. Oh. We'll be wearing silly costumes on parade. I really want to join in the carnival fun, but I can't. I've got so much work to do. I better get on with it. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Oh yeah. I'll be there to comfort you at all times. I'll be there to see all is fine. I'll be there whenever I'm needed. Yeah. To hear the heart. Clock and I haven't had a rest yet. Dr. Juno, uh, Raymond and Tina are in the examination room. Tina's hurt her wrist. Oh no, what's happened? Have you had an accident, Tina? Uh, thanks to Raymond. Uh, yes. I was practicing my carnival dancing in the kitchen and tripped over on my big shoes and fell on top of Tina. I told you you'd have an accident with those daft still things. Yes. It's all my fault. Is Tina going to be all right? Can I see your wrist, Tina? Is it sore when you bend it? Well, I don't think it's anything serious. You may have a small fracture. So we better get you along to x-ray. Mm -hmm. OK, thanks, Dr Juno. Uh, Dr Juno, mm. is there any way we can hurry this up? It's just that we were really looking forward to seeing the carnival parade and now we might miss it. The carnival? <clears throat> I think the less said about the carnival, the better. Oh, right. Understood. Come on, Tina. 
We're all gonna miss the carnival parade. But I hope you have a woofy time, Samson. Tina, you only have a surface fracture. Oh, great. So now what? Well, we'll put a temporary splint on your wrist and you'll be right as rain. Nurse Hendry will look after you. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Silly old me, eh? <laughs> so Tina is going to miss the carnival parade. Raymond, these things can't be rushed. Hey, this way, Tina. I'm tired of hearing about this carnival parade. Well, some people enjoy it, you know. Spoil sport. Spoil sport? Me! But I love the carnival. Oh, great. I've been working hard all day looking after my patients and keeping them happy. And I've missed the carnival. Why am I being called a spool sport? Where did the time go? At 8 o'clock, I dropped off Samson at Granny Murray's and the children dressed Claude as a carnival dancer. They were all off to see the River Sea Fingal Carnival Parade later. At 9 o'clock, I got to work and decided to forget about the carnival parade. At 10 o'clock, Nurse Hendry was in carnival mood. So was Raymond. He wore some really high stilt shoes for his costume. But I told them both to forget about having fun at the carnival and just think about work. At 11 o'clock, the ferry boat band started singing a carnival song in the hospital. I was cross and told them to stop having fun. I thought it would upset the patients. At 2 o'clock, Raymond and Tina arrived. Tina hurt her wrist when Raymond fell on her as he was practicing his carnival dance in his stilts. At three o'clock, Tina went off to have a splint put on her wrist. It was nothing serious, but the treatment would take time. I told Raymond that it meant they would miss the carnival parade so he should just forget all about it. And he then called me a spoiled sport. Now remember, carnival time can be any time. Oh yes, carnival time can be any time. Raymond! I'm sorry I was a spoiled sport. <laughs> How about we have our very own carnival parade right here in the hospital? Oh, yay! Then the patients won't have missed out after all. Oh, first we need carnival costumes. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that. I finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, I'm sure she will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna be there. Much fun at the carnival as we're having, Samson. Look at this! Oh, that's the stuff now. It's carnival time at Granny Murray's. Good boy, what a dancer! <laughs> oh dear, but all good carnivals have to come to an end. Don't you worry, Samson. Dr. Juno will be here for you soon. Dr. Juno, come away in. 
Samson. Look Hello, who's Samson. here. Hello, Samson. Hey, good boy. Oh, look at that wagging tail. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray. And thank you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Carnival time can be any time. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, baking, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, riding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a carnival dancer because it was carnival time in Riversea Fingal. Dr. Juno dropped Samson off and was sad she was going to miss the parade. So she had a quick dance before she went to work. We took Samson for a walk in the park. He needed to burn off some energy before we went to watch the carnival. Then we went to watch the parade go by. There were all sorts of incredible costumes. We saw the ferry boat band too. Louie and Chuck waved to us and played us a special tune. Later, Dr Juno came to pick up Samson and said she'd had her very own carnival parade at the hospital. So she didn't miss it after all. Do you like to dress up for parties and carnivals? <laughs> Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie.